What is going on everybody? My name is Michael Levan. Thank you so much for joining me today. And what I want to do is I want to go through something that I personally find super interesting called customize. Now, if you've never heard of customize, think about it like this. When we deploy our applications, we have dev staging or sometimes people call it UAT and prod. Maybe there's even a fourth stage in there called QA. Now, here's the problem. If we're deploying, you know, let's say multiple Kubernetes applications in manifest, or maybe we have some Helm charts, whatever the case may be, you're going to pretty much have this same Kubernetes manifest copied throughout stages, but just, you know, the values are changed in them. So for example, maybe you're using uh, the latest of a container image that you built in dev, but in prod, you want to use a specific version. Maybe in dev, you want to run one replica for your pod, but in production, maybe you want to run three to five. So it's like literally the same, well, the same Kubernetes manifest, but it's a little bit different. So how can we kind of get around that? Well, there are a bunch of different ways, but one way that I really like is customize. So with customize, you essentially have one base Kubernetes manifest and then maybe you have some directories called like dev staging prod. And then within each of those directories, you have essentially environment files or environment variable files. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that kind of looks like here. All right. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory called base. Now inside of my base directory is where I'm going to have maybe a deployment.yaml. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy one of my deployment.yamls here and I'm going to paste it in. So this is just a general standard Nginx stateless application, Kubernetes manifest. It's not doing anything crazy. It's, you know, using port 80, the latest version of Nginx. So then after that, we have the customization file. Now, the customization file is essentially acting like, you know, any other operator. So I'm going to show you that in a second, but we're going to call it customization.yaml. Okay. So as you can see, it is an operator. Like there is an API that's created for this. The API version, well, the API path rather is customize.config.k8s.io. And this API is not in the core API group. It's in the named API group. So any new APIs inside of Kubernetes are all in the named core or I'm sorry, the named group. Okay. And as you can see, it is still in beta perfectly. Okay. And you have the kind here and the kind is customization. Okay. And then you can specify your resources. Now your resources are whatever your files are called. Now in this case, I only have the deployment.yaml. So we'll go ahead and we'll go with that. So pretty much what we set up here is we have our Kubernetes manifest, and this is going to be our application that we want to deploy, you know, to the world, right? To any environment. And then we have our customization file that essentially just looks in here and says, okay, what resources do we want to call upon the deployment.yaml? Again, we can have a service.yaml. We can have as many YAMLs as we want in here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. The point is, is that if you want to use customize, you have to define your resources, AKA your Kubernetes manifest inside of this block right here. All right. So now let's create a new directory called overlay. And then inside of here, we'll call this maybe dev, right? So, oops, sorry. This actually should be a directory. Let's try that one more time. Coffee is still kicking in this morning. So we're going to have one called dev. Okay. And then under dev, I'm going to have a customization dot YAML. So customization dot YAML. Okay. And then I'm going to paste in that code. So let's go ahead and take a look at this code. Again, I'm using essentially the operator again, right? The kind is customized, but here's the thing. The resource I'm pointing to the base directory. And the reason why is because the code in here is what I want to be manipulated, right? Now, what I mean by that is if I open up my customization.yaml, notice here how I have the application name called Nginx deployment. Okay. As you can see under the metadata label, we can see name equals Nginx deployment. So that's our application. Now the count for my replicas I have is one, but notice here, my replicas in the base Kubernetes manifest is two. 
Okay. So what happens when I run this? Well, let's give it a shot. Okay, so I'm going to open up my terminal here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a command called kubectl minus K. So minus K essentially what that means is it's for customize. And what I'm saying is look in the directory, the current directory, right? That's what the dot is, right? So as you can see, it's going to give me an error. And essentially what is that error? Well, it's saying that it cannot find a customization.yaml file. So this is very, very important. You must have your file name that looks like this, right? It has to have one of these extensions here, right? It has to look like this. That's how customize knows. So let's go ahead and give this a shot again. We're going to CD into overlay dev. And if I LS here, we can see that I have my customization.yaml file. And that means customize is going to know, okay, I'm going to look inside of this directory with this command and then, oh, okay. It matches one of these file extensions or one of these file names. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use that. So let's run that. All right. And as we can see, this was created. So if I run kubectl get pods, check it out. Now I only have one pod running. So to recap here, my deployment.yaml, my, my Kubernetes manifest, my base manifest, right? Really like a template almost has two replicas, but because in my dev overlay, I'm specifying that I only want one replica customize is going to use this configuration right here from line six through eight against my resources in the base directory, which is this Kubernetes manifest. So hope that you enjoyed that little demo. I personally really like customize. I think it's great for any environment, production, dev, just playing around, etc. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time.